two new ordinances to get quicker police action at blighted and vacant homes in New Orleans moved out of committee and to the full New Orleans City Council. Members don't agree on all the details, but they say something has to be done to save New Orleans neighbors from this drugs, crimes and fires like the one that burned this vacant house to the ground. Somebody could have died. Sandra Graves lives just down the street from blighted homes and vacant lots. It's what's left over after a massive fire and explosion in December. Investigators said the fire was started by squatters. Thursday, the Governmental Affairs Committee in New Orleans forwarded two new ordinances to secure police access to 25 to 30,000 abandoned lots and blighted properties. If passed, the plan would house affidavits signed by owners to give police permission to respond to calls inside their property. It would also create two new types of criminal trespass, specifically for blight and nuisance. We have all have images like this from our neighborhoods. Committee Chair Kristen Palmer says they are threats to public health and safety, from fires ignited by homeless camps to infested abandoned homes. This one overrun with raccoons on Gravier Street that sent neighbors running back in 2016. The NOPD supports the proposal, saying police could respond to calls faster. But there's also pushback. If already there's so much difficulty finding out, you know, how to get in contact with these individuals, how are we going to get them to fill out an affidavit? I just want to make sure that we don't do more to criminalize homelessness. Concerns about police overreach echoed in multiple public comments. For Sandra Graves, it's a dangerous problem without an easy answer. It's, it's a sad solution. I love New Orleans. I'm raised and born in New Orleans. And this just that sad. The New Orleans police chief participated in today's meeting. He said that it would be up to the owner of the property whether the person trespassing would be arrested or not. But he said the goal would be to simply lead people off of that private property. These ordinances are being slightly rewritten before they go before the full New Orleans City Council. Reporting live in Treme, I'm Jennifer Crockett. Back to you.